Shishupala was born to king of Chedi. He was born with four hands and three eyes. His parents and relatives were scared of him and decided to cast him out. But they were warned by an invisible voice from the heaven. O oh king, your son will be fortunate and superior in strength. Don't be scared of him. Indeed, cherish him without anxiety. His extra hands and I will disappear in the lap of the person who will kill him. So his parents called all the kings of the world to Chedi and put the child on each of their laps to see which one would be the slayer. Finally Krishna and Balrama came as they were nephews of the queen of Chedi. The queen of Chedi was the sister of Krishna's father Vasudeva. As soon as Krishna put Shishupala in his lap, Shishupala's extra arms fell off and his third eye disappeared. indicating shishupala's death was destined at the hands of krishna seeing that sri krishna will be the one who will cause shishupala's death his mother started weeping and asking lord to not to kill her son in the mahabharata shishupala's mother was given a vow by krishna that he would pardon his cousin a hundred times and he will kill him when he exceeds the limit shishupala fought with krishna many times Once when Krishna eloped with Rukmini who was betrothed to him and defeated the combined armies of Shishupala and Rukmini's brother Rukmi says Narada reminded Krishna that while he had previously killed the Hiranyakashyap the demon has been reborn as Shishupala and must be destroyed again once Yudhishthir elder brother of Pandava was organized a famous Rajasuya yagya he invited many kings and princes Shishupala too was invited when Shishupal saw Krishna there he began hurling abuses at Krishna Krishna remained quiet finally when Shishupal uttered his 100th abuse Krishna turned to him took his sudarshan chakra and flung it towards Shishupal the chakra slashed Shishupala's head and the crowd cheered